Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to another episode of Shane Power, episode number two. I'll let y'all know last week um, on Friday, if y'all have not seen episode number one, click off this video, go watch one, and then come back to two. But I did tell y'all that today we're talking about Food, honey, food, nutrition, the stuff that you're putting in your body. I'm gonna be doing some meal prepping today because honestly, it's important. As much as I really don't like meal prepping, you know, I, I honestly don't like the process. It's important and if you don't, you're really setting yourself up for failure in terms of being tempted to go out and get fast food and buy food and also, not really hitting your macros, your nutrients, getting enough nutrients that you need for your body. So food is important, okay? I'm actually in the process of making breakfast right now. I told y'all that I'm gonna be doing intermittent fasting. So my eating window is 10 to seven. It's actually a little past 10 right now. So I am getting ready to make me some breakfast. I'm about to put me some turkey bacon in the oven, this is just the H-E-B uncured turkey bacon in the maple flavor. I'm gonna do three pieces of this. I'm gonna have some eggs and also, also, y'all, I know it seems like I'm always talking about this, but I promise y'all I have not eaten this in a minute. Kodiak cakes is what I'm having today for breakfast. I got the big zaddy Costco or Sam's Club, one of the two. But it came, I thought it was like a big bag of Kodiak, but it actually comes with, I think four, two. Yeah, it comes with three of these uh, mini packages right here, which is perfect for me. We've already gone through one and we are on this back here pretty much halfway through. Let me get this breakfast started though, because I don't wanna get too behind when it comes to um, staying kind of on my eating schedule. So let me get this breakfast and I'll be right back with y'all. So now that my belly's full, we can go ahead and get this meal prep going. So today I'm gonna to be making some pineapple teriyaki ground turkey meatballs. Of course, y'all know me, I'm not a chef. I can do a recipe all day and then put my little twang on it. But typically, you know, I need some type of recipe just to start out, just to have as a foundation. So of course, Pinterest is my go-to. I found this recipe on Pinterest. And then also I do have some shrimp here that I have already went ahead and just put my marinade on there. Um, this is the same marinade that was used in the shrimp taco video that I did a few weeks ago. If y'all have not seen that video, I definitely recommend y'all watch it, of course, because the recipe is bomb and I still love that recipe clearly because I'm still using the same marinade from that recipe. I honestly don't wanna use, like make all of this into meatballs, which, it's perfect because I do want to have like some leftover ground turkey on the side to put in like tacos or to make some type of little nacho salad or something like that, you know? I'm actually going to go ahead and just use a pound, which is exactly what the recipe says. And it also says a pound should fit or should serve, you know, five people, four meatballs each. So I should have about 20 meatballs from that pound. We'll see. Let me go ahead and measure out this um, meat. I'm still using y'all, this is like an OG on the channel, this E-Tech City scale. I've had this like years now. This scale still comes in clutch. I'm gonna go ahead and put this bowl on here. Balance it out to where that says zero and let me change the units to pounds i'm just gonna go ahead and take like one third of it and put that in there okay that's like 0.5 so this should actually be a pound so this is pretty much what i have left over and i'm gonna be you know just cooking this regular just loose i'm just gonna let y'all watch me put these ingredients in here i'll have the recipe down below in the description box for y'all I am a woman, not here to please you. It's time to move on, cause my time is now. I am a woman, play by my own rules. I got my two feet on solid ground. And then I take the first step, a million more. And I make mistakes I never made before. But either way, I know I made up my mind. I'm through feelings.
to be boss. I'm gonna be doing this organic cauliflower rice stir fry. I think we got this from, again, Costco or Sam's Club. Maybe each HEB, it was one of those three. I just can't remember. It's better to make your own cauliflower rice from scratch. However, y'all can't tell me this doesn't look good. So if this tastes like regular rice stir fry, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be hyped, okay? It's real simple, y'all. You literally just put some olive oil in a skillet, dump this in there and cook for about five to 10 minutes, just depending on how you like, you know, the, um, texture of the cauliflower rice beef. Three grams of fat, eight grams of carb, two grams of fiber, total sugars added three, three grams of protein and 60 calories. This with the pineapple meatballs, I think that's gonna be good. So we got the stir fry going. I also end up putting this shrimp on here. I have the meatballs over here and they are looking so good. Look at the sauce, honey, and they taste so good too, so. I probably end up going ahead and making another one of these bags because that one pack ain't gonna be enough for me to actually go with, you know, the meatballs and the shrimp and stuff like that. So I'm gonna make another pack of this, but for right now, this is gonna do just to get me started. Y'all, this is actually really good. Look at it. I know some of y'all are probably like, girl, where are your vegetables? I am not a big vegetable person. I'm not gonna lie, I'm trying to get better about that. For right now, y'all see this corn in here? Y'all see these peas in here? Y'all see these little bad peppers in here? That's my vegetable. It felt like I was making so much more, y'all, but the good thing is that, you know what? It's okay because we at least got food prepared. We got food ready. Um, by the time I honestly, Eat that, that's probably gonna last me maybe, once I make the other shrimp and the other rice, it'll probably last me two days. It kinda was a fail, depending on how you wanna look at it. If we're looking at it from the standpoint of, I got food prepared and the food is good, yes, it was a win. If we're looking at the standpoint of, girl, you only got meals for a day or two, it was a fail. <laughs> I so thought I was gonna have more food. My eating window is actually about to end here. I had that breakfast this morning. I ate me two shrimp tacos. Now I'm about to go ahead and eat me some um, chicken meatballs with some of the cauliflower rice. That's about to be dinner. I probably have a banana as a snack. And that's gonna be all that I eat, y'all. Basic, simple. <sighs> Honestly, I thought intermittent fasting, getting back to it, was going to be a little bit more challenging for me just because I hadn't done it in so long. But it's actually not bad. This 10 to 7 eating window, it low-key seems like the perfect window for me. I don't feel like I'm stressing my body out, you know? Also... Rude. <laughs> but no, I did get some questions about whether or not I'm gonna be counting calories. Y'all know I stopped counting calories a minute ago. I feel like these days I have more of an eye for how many carbs I'm eating throughout the day. Um, it's, you know, same thing with proteins, fats, because a lot of times I do eat the same thing. So I'll probably count calories maybe once or twice during the week just to make sure I'm staying on track with, you know, getting a decent amount of protein in and a decent amount of carbs in and stuff. So I'll just do that one to two times a week. Two times is really pushing it, but I'm not gonna be counting counting calories specifically and like strictly trying to stay with them. Also, I'm not restricting myself to any foods, meaning, Yes, if I want some Oreos, yes, if I want a slice of pizza, your girl's gonna have it, okay? Because it's all about what? Balance. <laughs> it's all about balance, y'all. I'm not someone who feels like you have to completely rule out, you know, things that you love. Sweets, desserts, burgers, pizzas. I don't think you have to rule those out. It's just all about how much you're eating of them and making sure you're eating them in moderation. So 
I'm not cutting out any food groups or any um, types of food specifically. Of course, those are foods that I'm going to be limiting myself to. And when I say a cheat meal, that's what I mean. Not a cheat day. We're not going to be turning into cheat weeks. A cheat meal is all it's going to be. So I'm just very much so keeping it very um, simple right now when it comes to my eating. Again, once I started thinking too hard about it, trying to count calories all day and make sure I'm getting every little thing logged, it becomes like a chore for me. It's not fun for me and I don't be wanting to do it. Y'all hear Harlow trying to go outside? Look at him. Harlow, Harlow. <laughs> Let me lay him outside, but I hope y'all enjoyed this video still. I'm about to eat my dinner. We gonna call it a day after this. This probably honestly is gonna be the only thing I eat because I'm really not hungry. I'm not even hungry right now. So let me let him out. I love y'all. See y'all in the next video. I hope y'all still enjoyed this fail of a meal prep, but we doing it. We doing it y'all. Week one, we got food to start the week. We gonna get better. And let me just say, as much as I don't like it, the easy part is preparing the meal prep. The hard part is actually eating what you prepared. Because when I tell y'all, even this right here, it's good, don't get me wrong. The cauliflower rice is good. It's a great alternative to stir fry rice. It's good. But Lord knows a Chick-fil-A spicy deluxe combo with pepper jack cheese would hit mm. so if y'all don't take nothing else from this video eat your meal prep that's in the fridge <laughs> go ahead and go eat that thing okay make it happen happen bye girl beautiful all your flaws are perfect you should let them show the things I love the most I don't know what you see But I see all